Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Baghdad. Right now, we're gonna enter the Sarai Souk or Sarai Bazaar market. This one has leather utensils. After this, we're going for a street food tour. We're gonna have shawarma. We're gonna have a lot of delicious Baghdadi food. I'm excited. Follow me. Woo! Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Wow, look at this. So we got clothing. You have a mix, this is like uh, stuff for school, right? Look at this. So for, I guess, Islamic education. We got some briefcases here. Detective. Oh, what do we got there? What? <laughs> Look at all the leather work. It's amazing, so beautiful. I love this guy's leather works. Look at this, beautiful wallets. Really, really nice. So the way he does this is that he puts it together, right? Sews it together and then he puts a presser and he presses the images, right? So here you have, I don't know, like two women here. We have more women here. And if you want, you can also write your name right in here with a pen. Right there, right? Come, come, let me show you some more stuff. So here we have belts. Look at that. It's a big belt, it's for your back, right? So you don't mess with that back. Ooh, I need that. <laughs> Let's keep going. Look at this. This is amazing. So way more belts, some for your back. Wallets, oh wow, look at these wallets. Can I, it's okay? Look at this. So I'm guessing they have a plane and you can have them write it, yes they do. Look right here, plane. They have a plane and you can have them write your name or, or whoever you're buying the gift for, right? I like that. It's really nice. What else we got? Yeah, handwritten, same thing, right? The name, what else we got? Oh, so these are like keychains. Look at the keychains right here. So tons of keychains. And I'm, yeah, they're all, some of them are blank. You just get their name written. And they also have over here more wallets, some stuff for the walls. Those are really nice. All those up here. Look at this. So many things. So how many vendors are there? Let me see. Oh. I think that's where it ends. At least the leather part of this market. I just keep going. So, there you go. Beautiful stuff, huh? This side of the market is just everything for school. You got books, you have pens, uh, backpacks, basically everything for kids to go back to school. And that's it, right? The market's done? Okay. The stationary market. Yeah. David, our first lunch stop is Kuba of as -Sarai. Yes. Iraqis like to have it as brunch maybe or breakfast, but also as a lunch. You will see how delicious it is. Okay, let's go. So this is the kitchen. Read this over. So we want to Yeah, yeah. We can have inside so, or outside. Upstairs is full. See? So upstairs is full. We have outside seating, inside seating. I mean, I love this cafe. So these are old imagery, like everything from like the 50s, 60s. Yeah, it's a restaurant, not a cafe. So how old is this place? It must be 100 years old. 1930. 1930? Yes. So 90 years old. Roughly. So this looks like a matzo ball, right? So matzo flour, and he's gonna put it into this plate. And what, he put some gravy on top. So you got pickles, gravy, you got bread. Kupa de Sarai. Yes. That's right, right? Correct. Perfect. So this is a grain ball that is stuffed with lamb. They also put this amazing, I guess, tomato gravy on top, right? We also have bread on the side, and we have some pickles, and then this is the gravy, right? So can you drink the gravy? Yeah, of course. Yes, we, we can. Oh. And it's basically animal bones in a pot with boiled water. Really? And we add the tomato uh, uh, syrup. So, okay, tomato syrup, right? Yes. Uh, tomato paste, basically. Tomato paste. Uh, some add uh, dried lime, some add uh, spices, depending on each one. Here they have only spices. Yeah, this is almost like a, a vegetable soup, and if it was cold, it'd be like gazpacho. Same thing. So, how do we do this? We just go in here? Yes, we just go in here. Right, so let's see this thing, moment of truth. Oh yeah, beautiful, look at that. So we have lamb in there. We have some onions, so it's minced lamb, right? Yes. Just soak it up like that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Juicy, moist, a little hard on the outside. Very grainy. I love how it's soaked up with tomato. But they also told me to try it with this sauce. 
I don't know what sauce this is. It said it's really good. It says like a tamarind chutney. Sauce is tamur. Date, is date sauce? This is not tamarind sauce, this is date sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, ultra sweet. Mm. Fantastic. I love it. It's more like a like a thick paste. Mm -hmm. This this is like comfort food, right? So you come here, probably costs like a dollar, right? For this meal. You get this. This is a medium. They also have large and they have small. And then you end it off with a cleanser. Spicy this one. Good. It's good, it's good. Also some bread too, right? So you get some bread. So we can get the bread, right? And go in here. And like this. And I love this date sauce so much, I'll add more. Super. The correct, uh, the more correct way, the best, better way, to get the salmon. Then when you break it, and you it. Yeah. Like a sandwich. Make, yes, like a little mini sandwich. And then like that. Yes. Then you bring the kumba. Put it in. Okay. You can add kimchi here at this point. Okay, so we add some pickle, right? Up to you. And. Sure. Mm. I love the pickle. These are a great contrast. Mm. Like at first it's like moist, juicy, and then you have this like little bit of bitterness. Sourness. Sourness. It's colorful. Man, I could drink the date sauce. That sauce is amazing. I agree. Mm. There it's got everything else. We got all up, the lamb juices. Mmm. Mmm. Baghdadi food. Amazing. More than amazing, dude. Spectacular. I agree. <laughs> Why, while I'm eating, because I cannot stop, wait for, for you to end for me. My man is shy here. <laughs> You're alive. Amazing dish. And then you can drink the rest of this, right? I'm gonna show you how to eat. Another way to eat it. We take a piece of bread and we're gonna put it and dip it in this sauce. We're gonna have a really tasty piece of bread. So good. David, I'm exhausted, but we need to have a chai break. Let's go. Hey, talk it on, talk it on. Off one, off one, thank you. No, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, here hello, we go. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, people stop me. David, this is the cafe we're gonna go into. It's one of the oldest cafes in Baghdad, and it's still running. It's, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see the everything. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go in. Let's go. And right here we have their specialty. This is lime tea. So this is from Basra, so from the Gulf, right? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Mm. Oh, it's incredible. This is so good. And it's nice and hot. What else can I tell you about tea? I'm not really a tea guy. I'm more of a coffee guy, but when I'm in the Middle East, Asia, this is what I do. Good? Good. My man, thank you so much. We should do only for alcohol, but it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we don't cheer, by the way. There's no cheering. You're actually just supposed to be like, yeah. So I love this cafe. As you can see, it's really old. Lots of pictures, lots of photos everywhere. You can have tea, and then we also have some shisha. Shisha, shisha. Uh, it's called Hubbly Bubbly. Hubbly Bubbly. Hubbly Bubbly, right? Or Nargila, we call it here Nargila. Oh, Nargila, Nargila, and this is apple. What happened? Hey, Diana. Yeah, it died because you didn't smoke. Go, need some more. Go, 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 go. That's sad. All right, so we're going to the back to see them doing the call. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, come, come. It's super hot. Check this out. Ooh, the flame. So this is where they heat up the coal. 
<laughs> so hot in here, easy, like 300 degrees. After like half an hour, you're melting. Okay, so our coal ran out. So he's adding new coal. Ooh. Now that we added the coal, you add your tip, right? Each one gets their own. Abdullah. Feels good. Oh my god. A little lightheaded. But you know what? When you're in the Middle East, you have to do this. This is part of the culture. I mean, just come to a cafe, have some chai, have some of this. It's actually very tasty. Super tasty, this one. Too many fans. Too many fans. You good? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just chilling, you yeah, know, just it. taking some time. I should try this. Yes, sir. I should try this. <laughs> the, the reason this is part of the culture is because in the Middle East, it is so hot midday after lunch. You go to a cafe, you sit down with your friends, you talk, you play some games, you have some chai, smoke some bubbly. So, so we're friends? We're friends, bro. We're friends. My brother, man. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Good? Is it tasty? No, this is good, man. Thank guys, I don't smoke, so I do not encourage smoking. But when you're here again, do like the locals do. Try it. Wow. Whoa. I need a break. I need to lay down. All right, let's go. Let's go, man. I don't know. You follow them. <laughs> wow. That's good juice, huh? Fresh. Oh. Chokran, chokran. Fresh pomegranate juice. Mm hmm With the seeds. Mmm. A little sour. It's nice. It's good though. I love pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the amount of seeds in here. Super sour, right? Yeah, it's sour, but it's good, weirdly enough. Yeah, yeah. It's fresh. That's what it is. Oh. The... Um, the seeds. The seeds, right? Yeah, yeah they pop. That's good. I like it. Yeah, they're enjoyable. Oof. Super energetic. Yeah, you know what the good thing about this? It wakes you up, man. That's good. You want? No, you're good, you're good. In this blazing heat. 47. Yeah, maybe 47. Oh my gosh. Maybe 48, I don't know. 48, no way. And right in front of us, we have the Tigris. 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 Yes. Tigris. Digile. 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 Digile River. Mm. So who's this guy right here, the statue? Al Mutanabbi. He's a famous poet from Abbasid era. And this street, the street of books, street of literature, named after him. Okay guys, so we're gonna take a little boat ride down the river. So a small boat, right? Yeah, we will take one of these, but I don't know who, which is Smile. Smile? Yeah, I know. Oh, perfect. This is the Qishla clock. The engine of the clock is the same company who provided the engine of Big Ben in the UK. No way. So it's a British one, yeah. So there's the beautiful Tigris River. The river of Baghdad, right there is the clock tower we just passed. We went, we did like a good 20 minute little spin, right? We passed one of the main bridges. We saw all of old Baghdad. Over here we have some of the new part of the city, some new buildings, like construction over here. As you can see, over here we have a few more bridges, right? Big city, eight million people in this city. Feels like a desert. It's like desert climate. Christmas tree for 2022. It's Christmas 2022. Getting it ready? They put a Christmas tree there. That's just how you feeling, bro. <laughs> how, how does it seem? How does it look like? I'm gonna put it right next to your face, the temperature. <laughs> I tell you, man, like I live in Spain, but this next level heat, man. It's crazy. It is, man. It's the Middle East. It's like a dry desert. The whole thing. 
What do you mean dry desert? Like, like you feel like you're in a super, super hot, empty space, you know? Because desert, I mean like dry, rocky, and sandy. Uh, okay. That's what I refer but to. it's an urban desert. Yeah, it's an urban desert, of course, <laughs> of course. It's like a concrete jungle here. Concrete jungle, we're doing some Nothing we can't do, cause I'm from Miami. <laughs> Chokran, Chokran. Chokran. From the river, we came straight back up where we came from. Next to the cafe, there's this guy doing juices, and we're gonna get a fig juice. Alright, so fig juice. Oh, it's amazing. Mm, delicious. I love figs though. Open it up, eat the whole inside, the flesh. This is really nice. With ice, it's way too hot here. Oh man, try the figs. I got you, man. Really refreshing. That's good. Hey, chuck it on, chuck it on. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. As you can see, this place has died down, obviously, 3 p.m. Scorching hot. Everybody goes home. They relax, siesta, until the sun goes down. When the sun goes down, everybody relaxes, right? Yes. And you're good? Yeah. You guys are good? <laughs> so here's the thing about Iraqis. They go out at night. They go out in the morning. They go back to their houses. They take a rest during the, um, uh, the midday. The, yeah, the midday sun. Yes. Midday heat. Work hours here end at two. They go directly to their houses. They take a rest. Then they go out uh, after the sunset. بيكم جان الله يحفظكم والله الحمد لله شلونكم جان currently walking up Motanabi street it started at the river and goes all the way up past the cafe past the souk and as you can see lots of book vendors this is like all stuff to go back to school and you were saying that right now it's dead because it's midday but at night it is packed with people at night and also in, in the mornings okay yeah so basically the way it works in iraq like most middle eastern countries around 2 p.m to like 5 everybody goes home take a nap, siesta, stay indoors, get cooled down, and they come back out at night when the sun goes down. And it's called a prayer, so let's go. Next up, we're entering the oldest juice shop in Baghdad from 1900, so 122 years old. So we're doing some juices. Yeah, juices. Oh, so gonna put it on me, I have to take it off. I didn't want to take this off. Hilarious, hilarious. Star King. Starking. Look, look guys, <laughs> hilarious. So this place has only two juices. Uh, so raisin juice and pomegranate juice, right? Amazing, so this is it right here. Yes. And this is raisin juice. Raisin juice. Should we, should we? Yes. Oh. oh, so refreshing, so cold. Oh. This wine without the... Uh... Yeah, it's wine without alcohol. <laughs> That's so good. I know, I know, it's tasty. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. You getting a little treat there? Yes, I got myself a muffin. A muffin. He's like, you have to try the pomegranate. So here we go. Some of the best juice I've ever had in my life. It is so good. Everybody's having having the, the muffins. Here we go. Little muffin. You guys having the whole muffin? So when you have some juice, try some of the muffin. Mm. So sweet. Oh, so good. So good. It's amazing. Ali, you good? Very good. The whole time he was telling us they have the best air conditioning in Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> We're like for sure. Plus with this, hey man, this like cooled me down. 
I was half asleep, now I'm perfect. Now we have 18 more spots to go. It's really fresh point for you and the old of Baghdad. Yeah, the, the fresh time. point. So this shop was visited by all the kings and the presidents of Iraq. See, King Faisal first, until... But not this one, by the way. Not the current uh, Not yet. president. Not yet. Yeah. Neither the previous one. But the guy who was the rule until 2015, maybe, he visited. Shokran, 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 hey. So much, Hello. thank you. My friend. Shokran, Shokran, Shokran. Shokran Habibi. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's continue this tour. Woo! Let's go. Okay, assalamu alaikum. We're going for a late lunch. Uh, a liner. A liner. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Chokran, chokran. All right, guys. This is it, lunch at this beautiful, like, heritage home. What is that? Classic one. Amazing. It's a Chrysler. It's a Windsor, Chrysler Windsor. All right, let's go inside. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mahdi. Yep. My man, the come owner. Come, come, come. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, so welcome here. It's an old, old house from 1939. I made it as a restaurant. And as I am a wildlife activist in Iraq, so I would like always to do education to kids and families about wild animals and especially rare animals that uh, usually Arabs hate this kind of animals that they are like snakes some of reptiles um, like geckos it's amazing. Like, Arabs and Iraqis hate geckos and scared from geckos so I have here one of the Iraqi geckos that is wild gecko and you can see it's similar to um, uh, to leopard gecko that is a pet yes, in, in the USA same. this is the original uh, Leopard gecko, that is Iraqi eyelid gecko. It's amazing. Beautiful. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is awesome. Yeah, this is this is this from is, Australia. You gotta be really careful. This guy. This is a snake neck turtle. Exactly. And you gotta be really careful because his neck is so long that he can literally bite your hand if you grab him in the wrong spot. Right. Yep. Look how beautiful he is. Snake neck. Ooh, gotta be careful. There he goes. <laughs> I'm a big turtle guy. Good. Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what else you got here? We oh, look, look. What do you got here? Are these all dabras? Yeah. This is a Greek turtle. Oh, but it's like brown. Um, this kind of tortoise uh, lives between Greek to Iraq and Iran. So this, this area, oh. like this kind of tortoise lives. And we have, this is one of the rarest uh, Euromastics, that is Sarah Euromastics or Mesopotamian Euromastics and an Iraqi wild Euromastics. It's gorgeous. This one is an Egyptian Euromastics. We have two kinds of Euromastics in Iraq, so you can see the difference of the color and pattern. But this is still baby. I mean, they're gorgeous. Oh, and we have this, this lizard, to be honest, I forgot the English name of this lizard, but this also lives in uh, uh, Iraqi deserts. Wow. Scared. Yeah. yeah. He's not happy. And then over here we have some more like Greek tortoises, right? Yeah, baby. It's called the Herman. So it's a mix. Yeah. The green iguana? Yes. Yeah. You know what we call this in Miami now? <laughs> Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and as I know, it's like. Uh, kind of uh, animals that usually they kill them in Miami and uh, some some uh, area in USA because it's not it's invasive yeah but. exactly yeah. let's go all right here we go entering the kitchen let's go to the bread first right let's go. bread first all right all right all right let's go let's go so over here we have you guys try it all the kebabs here oh yeah, yeah. oh that's the chef right now oh so, my gosh let's go to the bread area Okay, so this is where they bake the bread. Yeah. Is it the Tony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony. Here we go. Tanur. Tanur. We make a bread in it. Oh, that bread looks so good. It's very hot. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see it. Oh, <laughs> it's so hot. It's the best bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and bubbly and uh, so delicious. It's very hot and crispy. It's this is the ultimate bread. I love it. It's super fluffy. Woo! 
You can try it? I can try it, yeah, let's yeah. try it. Try it. Thank you so much. Chokran. That's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hot. Fluffy. Also, we use sesame with it. Sesame seeds too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make one right now. Oh, look at the pillow. So we threw sesame seeds on this one. Puts a little bit of markings on it. Beautiful. So that's let the air like go through. David from Miami. Yes, sir. And we're gonna make uh, a bread with sesame. It's uh, a sesame bread. Okay. <laughs> you see, it's very hot, so I should uh, put like this. Oh my, my gosh. Hand. Ooh, it's very delicious. And uh, also, it's this is different from this one. It's very mm. delicious. When, when, it's when better. you put the sesame age, mm -hmm. see? Very nice. Yeah, it's different when you put the sesame seeds. Very nice. It's tasty than this. So good. Right? That one's nice and fluffy. This is crispy. Yeah. yeah. And sesame is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of Greek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard for you. You made it hard for me? Uh, that that means that we love you, Nira. Uh, thank you so much, Chef. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Kebabs. Kebabs. Yeah. Okay. So they're filling up this entire plate for us. I mean, this one. Look at this, guys. This is insanity. This is the beginning. He put four pieces of bread, and then he's gonna fill it up with a bunch of vegetables. We got some kebabs. We also have some dolma, so like uh, grape vines or grape leaves stuffed with rice and meat. I'm ready. This dough is called the rug dough that contains meat, flour, and some vegetables with some spices. Uh, and we're gonna to fry it if you want. Yeah? It's mine. So his name is Ibrahim. Ibrahim? Yeah, yeah. he is he is responsible for filling uh, everything here. It's almost like Kubi there. Not parsley, it's uh, la la! Celery! It's celery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a type of celery, but. Unique. Yeah. What do we have there, Ali? Yeah, we have uh, a chicken kebab. And we have a meat kebab right here. Wow, whatever that is looks good back there. You never see something like that? I've seen a lot of things. We have a tomato right here. But that thing looks amazing. It's right? a bread that we have uh, make a video for it right now with some meat. And we grill it. So it's like a meat pie? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. A meat pie. What would you call this in Greece? It's called a rice in Iraq. You know, Kratopita, yeah. Wow, that looks incredible. Beautiful meat pie. We call the English people here Ajnabawi. 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 That's all. Oh, he moves it. This is more than a plate. This is a piece of art right here. Yeah. It's, it's a piece of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the fish too? Yeah, it's, it's a fried fish. It's a fried fish right there. Oh, also, we have here a chicken breast. A girl with chicken breast. I'm gonna make it right there. Also, we have a lamb and fat. That's the best. I'm gonna put it right there and right there. Wow, that's it, right? Yeah. Shabab did it dolma. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. It's there. Excellent. I think I said it wrong still. Uh, and we're gonna mix like that. Oh, that dolma. Yeah. Oh, so they add like some fava beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it just dolma or there's peppers in there too? Tomato, pepper. Yeah, this is good. That's a good eggplant. Yeah. That's like lightly fried eggplant. This is how we do it. Very nice. You have a breakfast? A huge breakfast. And here we go, our Iraqi feast. Yeah, we have a large dish of Iraqi food that contains kebab and some kufa with some fried rice. And also we have a fish with some chicken breast and meat and lamb. Yeah, so it's very delicious. Oh, yalla Habibi, let's go. Oh, <laughs> I almost said, Yalla Habibi, Yalla Habibi. <laughs> so funny. Okay, guys. So we go? So I take it? Oh. I guess I'm taking it in. And here we go. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Yalla. I mean, this is incredible. Do we even have space for this anymore? No, it's okay, it's okay. You got space? Wow. Yalla Habibi. Okay, Jafar, ready? Yes, ready. So, I don't know how to start, but I think I know where to start. <laughs> the lamb fat, right? This is not the lamb fat. Oh, it's not the lamb fat. This is the fat. That is the pure fat right here, guys. Look at this. Look how juicy it is. It's a little charred. I can't wait. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The best thing in the world right there. Wow. Yes. It melts. It's like jello. Okay. So I think I need to jump on something that I really want to try, which is this one. I hadn't seen it yet. So this is like almost a meat pie, right? It's bread yes. and meat. This is no. not really bread. Mm. This is koppa. Koppa. Uh, that's one. This is the bread. Yes. This is the meat pie. Okay, got it. But very similar. They look the same yes. from here. Mm, this yes. Them both as meat pies. And this is grains, right? Yes. Vulgar? Yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Also oh. grown. <laughs> oh, wow. This is called Kubbat Musar. Kubbat Musar. Kubbat Musar, yeah. Yeah. Kubbat of Musar. So it's very, very thin. You know, two layers. You got meat inside. Nice minced lamb. Mm hmm. I love the music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some dry crab in it. No? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You can't feel it. I think I'm going to try this one next. Because it's like the, the same thing. But different bread, right? Yeah, yeah, you should try it with the pomegranate sauce. Oh, with the pomegranate yeah, sauce? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll dip it, I'll dip it. Look at that, look at all that. It's like pomegranate syrup. All right, ready. It's going straight in the mouth. Oh, oh. I mean, the herbs they're using here. The fresh lamb. Mmm, oily, super thin layer. It's dripping, it's dripping. Here we go. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> it's different. See, I speak Latin languages, so Arabic is very different for me. Mm. Okay. There's too many things, right? Try this. You haven't tried this. I haven't the tried chicken that. Tikka. Chicken tikka. Pure chicken tikka. So I'll grab the big one, I guess. Chicken tikka. The rocky chicken tikka. Uh, rocky chicken tikka. No bones, right? And then they put it on the stick, right? The skewer. Always on the charcoal grill. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky. Juicy. But right here, I'm like a pomegranate addict. So un poquito. We put it in salads. Mm -hmm. put it, we drink its juice. We eat it alone. Put it with grills. No, oh, it's amazing. Oh. It's not too thick, sweet. Okay, eggplant, right here. Now the eggplants, we eat them with bread. So this is a lightly fried eggplant. Okay, so what he's saying is that, grab a piece of bread, just rip off a piece of bread, go in here. This way, David, we bring bread. More bread. More bread? It's fine, it's fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Don't bring more bread. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Because usually, in the restaurants, mm -hmm. we leave this, we bring, Extra bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and at the end, mm -hmm. we would get this piece of bread because it has all of the it's oil soaked. and taste of it, and mm -hmm. we're gonna eat it. Hello. That's the best. Yes. Uh, right. Oh, I know, I know. I've been to other countries that do s certain things similar like that. And at the very end, all the juices have flown to the bottom, and just you eat that bread. It's absolutely amazing. So, what haven't I tried? Because I tried this inside. I d haven't tried this guy, but I tried it earlier. But I guess I'll try one more. Look at this. This is arug. So, this is meat. Basically, a little burger with onions, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the crunch, the oil, mmm, it bounces. And then we have to. I love this plate. I'm gonna finish it off with a little bite. Guys, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, it's a hot bite. The fish. You should try the fish. Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh, try the fish. The this is yeah. fried yeah. fish. Uh, <laughs> also, the red rice. <laughs> you guys can start eating it. Oh, yeah. So, what fish is this? Carp. Just carp? Good to go. Yeah, carp. So, right here we have carp. Fried carp. So, just how to get in, pull off some of the meat. Try not to get any bones in here. 
Mmm. Another crunchiness on the outside of the skin. Still very juicy. White flesh. Mm -hmm. It's tender. It is tender. Mmm. The outside. Nice and crispy. And we have charlie kebabs, right? Yes, you have Mmm. Oh, that one's good. Yes. Wow. I'm still very moist inside. Smoky. What are you guys doing to me? This food is unreal. Thank you guys so much. Chokran. Iraqi food. Iraqi food. Unbelievable. This plate represents the diversity in Iraqi food. Alright guys, enjoy this meal. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. We also have this. Oh yeah, I forgot the dolma. The Iraqi dolma. Look, so this Iraqi dolma is a little different, right? So they use a green called chard, right? Like a greeny leaf. Green leaves, yes. And then we also have, this is pepper, right? Yes. And then it is tomato? Yes. yes. So you go in here, and here it is. In there, right? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's still really hot. So onions. This is onions. So it's like this. Mmm, I love the tomato paste in here. Amazing, good spices. Mmm, nice and light. So as the onion, I didn't get rid of the green leaf. I mean, there's so much more in here, right? So let us see what is the green leaf. This is there. It is. I the char charred leaves. Charred leaves, and then you know what? I'm gonna get some of these beans at the same time. Like that. This is my real last bite. Oh, what is this? This is also we have bread, bread and sesame. What? This is what we saw earlier. Incredible, look at that. I love the way they did it, right? So they made all these like little air pockets throughout the whole thing. Throw sesame all throughout. You got these air bubbles. Then you break off a piece. Mm hmm Love the sesame. Crispy. Mmm. Smoky. Amazing. All right, guys, so that is our lunch tour. We did a bunch of places, right? So Leather Bazaar, went to the cafe, we had tea, shisha, we saw the river. What else, we got some fruit juices. Oh, and then we came here and we saw the whole process of how they make this food. Incredible, we also went upstairs and saw their animals. Really amazing spot. So if you're ever in Baghdad, definitely come out to all these spots. And if you love this video, thumbs up, comment below and eat some food.